This is it then guys. This is it, the last day in Brazil after my four month journey. It's time to go home. I've got one more day in Sao Paulo before I head back to London tonight. The flight is at midnight from Sao Paulo. So yeah, I'm gonna spend today in the city and check some more places out, see what is what else Sao Paulo has to offer. And then back to the cold and grey England, but at least Sao Paulo has prepared me a little bit because it's just like England out there. There's grey skies and that drizzly rain. So yeah, uh, Sao Paulo has completed that job of preparing me to get back to England. It's a little bit colder in England, I think. So anyway, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to check out some more of Sao Paulo. I think Avenida Paulista is completely closed to traffic today because it's a domingo so we're gonna check out there and I don't know what else we're gonna do just just follow the journey and let's see what happens I don't wanna leave I don't wanna leave I think I might be stuck on you so we're in Avenida Paulista and it's completely closed of course it's raining as well but <laughs> Um, I like this. This is the third place I've been to where they shut one of the main roads in the city to do it. I've been to Rio and Brasilia and now in Sao Paulo. And it's cool. It's, it's like, it's nice and quiet as well because there's no like crazy traffic here. And since this is one of the main roads in Sao Paulo, it's quite impressive that they just close it off on a Sunday and you can walk down the whole road and just kind of enjoy it by foot. I'm like, when I stepped out onto Avenida Paulista today, I was like looking around, where's the cars? I was thinking, can I go on the road? It's dangerous, I'm gonna get run over. But there is no cars, there's just bikes and pedestrians. So I like it, I like it a lot. Completely closed to cars. And it's, I don't know how far this goes down, but it looks like quite a long walk. But I'm quite curious to see what else is down this Avenida Paulista. So last time we came here, it was raining a lot. Um, oh, this is where they get the pictures, look. I've seen this picture on Instagram. I need to get a picture, Tommy. <laughs> so Tommy's just gone to buy an umbrella over here and she told me to stay here because she didn't want that guy to give me gringo prices. I'm slightly offended that I can't go and buy my own umbrella, but <laughs> this is the life, huh? Okay, deciding which umbrella to buy. The one I see, it's not big enough <laughs> for two of us. We have to have one each. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. I like that one. So I got my uh, Guadashuba. Oh, both got a Guadashuba. 25 pairs each. I think time you got charged gringo prices, to be honest. They sensed your, your foreign accent, your Brasilia accent. They said, this girl's not from Sao Paulo. I'm gonna charge it twice. <laughs> so here in Sao Paulo, they have a McDonald's store, which is called Mekki. And it's kind of like a marketing thing, right? Because Brazilians used to call it Mekki for short. You know how, how they say like a tick tock, tick, tick chocky, tick chocky. What else do you have? What other ones do you have? Tick tocky, Facebooky, <laughs> YouTubey. <laughs> Video? No, video. <laughs> no. But here we have Mekki and they, yeah, so they actually, they actually named this McDonald's Mekki. It's quite a unique building here. It's strange little architecture. So yeah, Avenida Paulista is really just full of loads of tall buildings to the left and right. It's very dense, now this city in Sao Paulo. Muito denso. So here you have the building MASP or MASPI. <laughs> um, it looks like they have a kind of a market going on as well, selling some arts and crafts. Oh, that's a nice umbrella. Some uh, arts and crafts type of stuff. I'm jealous of that umbrella, Tommy. I want that. Those umbrellas over there. They're cool. Um, so yeah, it looks like they have um, some kind of market going on over there as well. I'll buy some more souvenirs. I don't think I'm going to take any souvenirs back to Ita. Can you see? Uh, souvenirs back to England. Never, I didn't go into the Mass Museum either, so 
perhaps next time we'll go there. Museum of Arts, San Paolo. So we're just walking past and I seen this the other day. There's a supermarket, one of the Pound Yasuka, which they have like across the whole Brazil. But here in San Paolo it actually has tables outside. If you look over there, <laughs> so, you can see they have little tables set up so you can buy a beer from the supermarket and sit outside the supermarket and have your beer there, which I think is quite cool because like sometimes <laughs> In England, you have to like buy a beer and drink it on the street, and it's you know it's nice to have little tables outside to facilitate a bit of a uh, facilitate a bit of drinking just outside the supermarket. Nice little touch there. I like it. So I just bought some fresh pipoca, dulce, and uh, uh, some little and some little patata frita, fresh. Um, I actually got taught by Tammy's dad how to make uh, the patata frita the other day, so now I'm an expert in making patata frita. Just a note, I feel like in England we don't really get uh, popcorn on the street anymore. A lot of places just sell it in the supermarket, which actually Tammy thought was quite a strange thing to have like ready-made popcorn sold in the supermarket. It's not so common here in Brazil, you just buy it on the street and buy it fresh, which is actually, it's a lot nicer. Okay, so we just arrived in the Museum of Football in Sao Paulo. Because you see right here behind me, I'm excited for this because I love football. I just, I, I've been watching football since I was a kid. I remember when Brazil knocked England at the World Cup in 2002. But that was 20 years ago, guys. So I have to give Brazil for that. And I'm ready to, uh, I'm ready to explore this museum of football here in Brazil and see what they got inside. Tell me all the years that Brazil won. 58, 70, uh, 98. Uh, 98, no. 98, no. We lost to France. Yes, yes. <laughs> 94. 94. Uh, 2000. No. 2. 2002. There's one more. 58, I think it's like. Uh, 58, number one. Number one here. Ah, oh, 70, number three. 62. 62 is number two. 70, number three. First World Cup I remember watching in 98. Yeah. We all wanted Brazil to win in England and they unfortunately did not win. I remember that day. Aki, 94 is the fourth one. With this legendary team. And the last one in 2002 in Japan. I remember watching this one. Oli Aki. All the different things you can use as a football. I remember when I was a kid, we always used a Petra and this here. We always used to play with this in the in the playground in school. We didn't have a football. This is creative. I like this. <laughs> Limo. <Limon. laughs> what is? <laughs> if you're really desperate. Huh? So in this little part, they have all the names of the different types of. Uh, I don't know what to call them, kind of skills in football. This one we call in England a nutmeg. How much gato? Pesinho. I like this one, pesinho. Volley, we call this voleo. Similar. This is a good one. A little flag. Bandineiras. How much gato? Chapeau. <laughs> this has to be the worst one, huh? This is like the worst thing to happen to a goalkeeper. I don't know if no, we have a name for this. Frango. <laughs> 
One of my ambitions in Brazil is to play foot volley on the beach. I've not done it yet, but I'd love to do that with a group of people. Maybe I should do that, make a meet up for foot volley. This beautiful quote here from an English journalist. It should not be allowed to play such beautiful football. <laughs> Bill Sebra, yeah, England had, had Bill Sebra many times in their, in their World Cup competitions. So it seems like Brazil has some very creative names, creative slangs for football. I think I'm going to have to spend some time to learn them. So guys, we just come back from the football museum, um, back at the apartment. We had to kind of rush, rush out of there because time just goes so fast and we need to catch our flight in one hour and we need to start preparing our things, packing the last few things. I mean, we already packed, but we unpacked a little bit in, in, in Sao Paulo, so we need to repack. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we need to get over to the airport pretty soon. Um, but the football museum was really cool. So much information in there. Um, you could probably spend like three hours in there, to be honest. We kind of had to rush through it. So we were there for about an hour. But if you like football, then 100% I recommend it. It's it's really cool it's like a huge archive of football information i really enjoy i really like the, the 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 part where they had all the football expressions um it's something i didn't really know about we we have like expressions in english but it seems like in brazil you have loads loads of different expressions for football um football terms or of kind of technical stuff in football so that is something that i want to learn in the future maybe i should make a video about that trying to trying to learn some more of those phrases um, but yeah, in general, really cool. Um, I still feel like there's a lot more to see in Sao Paulo, but unfortunately we are heading back to London today. And yeah, it's all coming to an end, my journey in Brazil. I feel a bit sad, uh, but I'm gonna take you guys on a journey back to England with me. Let's, uh, <laughs> I wanna show you guys. I wanna show you what, what's going on in England just, just was on my arrival um, and see how cold it is. I'm, I'm curious to know, I've got my, my hoodie packed and ready to wear. I might just wear it on the flight, you know, just to get ready for it. Um, so yeah, let's do it. Let's go over to the airport and let's get ourselves back to England. <laughs> What a trap. Yes. And it's the last one in the airport. And some beautiful bus stops. Yeah, it's the end. It's the final one. It's the final, final Caipirinha in Brazil, unfortunately. And the last bus stops in Brazil. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Avoid in the park and <laughs> First impressions, extremely cold. Bobby, you Tana, your how about you? How are you feeling? Okay. Tani says she's fine. I it's was cold. expecting three times more. Three times more. Tani thought we were going to Antarctica. Brazil and also I was expecting always extremely cold. Yeah, I wore shorts because it's the only comfortable uh, clothing I had. I've got one pair of trousers, but they're not comfortable to wear on airplanes, especially on a 10 hour flight. So. My legs are exposed, uh, it's about six Celsius. But the good thing is, blue sky is out. On a positive note. There you go, we're definitely back in London. You can see the black caps. We're definitely back in London. But we have blue skies. 